Hey everyone, the Noble Artist here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my brand new custom. This is my Camino Heavy Gunner with experimental armor. He has um, ray shield armor, which is, in my, I don't know if they actually have that in any Star Wars books or comics or anything, but this figure has some ray shield armor, which is really awesome. It's a new feature that I made. It's similar to the shields that I made in the past. I've made stuff like this before. Um, not exactly in armor form, um, but I did make a shield for my Mandalorian back here um, that I had in my last video. Uh, but yeah, for those who are new to my channel, um, these are all hand customs that I make. Uh, I use real metal and fabric to give my figures a lot more realistic look and feel. This is the before and after. Um, I'll show you a, like a more um, 360 when I'm done, I'll bring this guy back in the view and you guys can see what I did to this figure. But this is the first time I customized one of these. I had the battle pack that came with the Geonosians and I really wanted to do something with this custom and kind of like the Kashyyyk pack, um, these green guys, how you kind of have to stay within the color scheme because the whole figure is painted. And I haven't done a heavy gunner in a long time. Um, and with that being said, there's a very, very good chance that my next contest is going to be a heavy gunner just because doing this one was a lot of fun and I've always wanted to do a heavy gunner um, contest. So I will probably within a couple days maybe work on getting contest, contest stuff ready. Um, so let me know down in the description if you guys want to see a heavy gunner contest. Um, you guys, I guess, can vote for it if you guys have a better um, idea, I guess. But if not, it's going to be heavy gunner most likely. Um, but just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get on to this review. Normally I take the gun out of the hand of the figures because it's easier to see um, the figure without the weapon in the hand. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that carefully. Um, now this ammo belt right here actually detaches. I made this before with my other gunners. Um, it detaches from the back and then also from the gun. This is really awesome. I'll get to that at the end of this video. This might be a little tricky to get out of his hand. He does, he can move it up and down. Uh, but this big old gun, I will try to move this out of the way. Like so. Awesome. Very nice gun. All handmade um, by me. I'll get that to the end of this video. Put his hand back. Alrighty, so moving on. This figure has a lot of different colors. He has mostly browns and grays. And I think... There are about three custom colors. I had to mix a bunch of browns and stuff like that to get um, the colors that I wanted. Uh, there's a lot going on with this figure, but he does have that camo, if you can see my better on this one. Um, uh, the camo that is on the figure itself, that printing that I tried to leave on there and, and I tried to accent it better with more browns and I mixed this color that's almost identical to the color itself. You can see right here I painted this um, centerpiece and then several other pieces. Um, this right here is the color of the Lego and that's the color that I made. And I'm not too sure why my camera isn't focusing the way I want it to. It's getting on my nerves. From time to time my camera does this because I'm poor and I have a really outdated camera. Um, but I make it work. Alrighty. So I have the boots down here painted brown. That's I only have brown on a couple spots and the boots is one. Um, the custom color I painted for the knee pads and then the center, that is actually just brown. Um, this is a combination of testers and apple barrel paints, mainly because I don't have that many testers that I can mix to get the colors that I wanted. Um, and I do have a lot of apple barrel paint that I can mix around and get some cool colors with. So I did that. And then he has the knee pads. I guess this is more the shin pad. The knee pads, that's also the custom color. Centerpiece um, as well. Painted the brown stripe on top of that. This is actually testers, this dark brown. Um, for the belt and then I had the bigger piece on either side centerpiece wide and the little ones in between and then I used the same testers brown and I mixed a darker brown or I didn't mix a darker brown I made a darker brown by adding black to that color and then giving it just a nice two-toned um, texture um, on that I'm not sure if you can see that because this brown this particular brown is very shiny so you might not be able to see it because of the glare um, but it is there and then on the chest, he has these awesome cylinders. Um, this is going to be a good idea for a shotgun trooper if I ever do that. These aren't shotgun shells. They can be uh, mini grenades. They can just be supplies. They can be 
um, something that goes ammo, something that goes with his his gun. Um, it can be whatever you want, but I think it just looks awesome. Um, these are natural color orange. This is a wire that I had from. I might actually show you. I don't know. Actually, it's put away, so it's going to take a minute to get it, and I don't have a minute. Um, but it is from a wire. I just cut it up, so I left that the natural orange because I, I think it just goes well with this figure. I painted the tips um, black with a little black dot right there, um, and then of course that's going to be the silver metal strap. This is actually metal strap that went over those, um, and underneath that is actually fabric. It runs up on the shoulder. I'm not sure if you can see it that well. So it's a fabric layer, and then these pieces, and then the metal um, strap over top. Um, both arms are different in in some regards. Um, so I'll start with this one. He has the gauntlet right here painted brown. Um, and then he has my custom color painted on the rest of the armor. Um, that's a little bit lighter. I had to make two batches so it got a little bit lighter. But it's okay because the rest of his, his stuff doesn't really match. Um, or the, the camo, it, it goes well with it. Um, put that brown stripe going on either side of this a little intercom here. Shorter pad, um, I'm sorry, elbow pad is going to be brown as well. And then the shoulder pads, this is the experimental um, ray shield armor um, that the clones are working on. And they gave it to this gunner um, on the Battle of Geonosis. And because he is a gunner and he's going to be right up in the thick of things, they made these big shoulder pads to cover his neck and part of his head. Um, you know, your head is your most vital organ, so it, it makes sense to protect your head. Um, very awesome. I will probably do a tutorial on how to make these uh, shields. They are very fun to make and they're kind of tricky, um, but I think it turned out really well. Same thing on the other side. He also has one on his wrist, uh, more of a wrist pad or a, a wrist guard. Also that when he's standing in combat, he will be facing in, uh, in that direction. Okay, I'm, ah, that direction. Um, so having more armor on that side um, just kind of makes sense. That and it's experimental, so um, they only made a few pieces of it. Um, so yes, this side, very awesome. Same thing, he does have two more pouches up here on his arm. As you can see, just add some more detail, more, uh, you know, just every little, every little thing helps. Moving on to the back, he also has these, kind of a sash. I'm not really sure what you call them. A lot of clones have them. Some of the, the elites, I'm not really sure what they serve, but I think they're cool, just like, you know, a lot of stuff that they have is just for show anyway. Um, very awesome paint scheme on his comma. That is kind of a tan color that I painted. It might not show up as well on this camera. It may look a little bit white, but it is an actual tan color. I don't normally paint my commas, um, but I'm going to get back into it because it's a lot cooler than having just a plain one. And so I think this one really pulled this figure together. Um, moving on to the back, he has his thermal detonator right here. I may add two more pouches on either side, but I don't want to crowd his back. He has a lot going on um, with this backpack. Very nice. He has, I believe, one, two, three, four, five pieces on his back. Um, just again, simple things I just find. I put them on there, put them together. A lot of this is metal. A lot of it is um, circuitry from computers and stuff. I just um, painted it so you can't tell. Um, this, of course, is Silver Spot is where the the clip will go into the gun, um, which I will get to that in just a moment. And let's move on to the helmet. Um, the helmet, I didn't do a whole lot. Well, actually, I did do a whole lot. Never mind. <laughs> Take that back. Um, the front here, I painted all black. Filled that in. Put two little silver dots on either side of his his visor. Not his visor. His, it's like a muzzle. Um, I don't really know what you call it, but it's there. And then I painted brown in between um, the cheek pieces that I just wrapped it around right there. Um, and then the dot is brown testers. I, there's three, one on each side. And then that stripe that runs down is that custom brown that I made. It's a little bit darker. Um, it's right here. It's that darker, um, darker stuff. Then I painted gray up into the top of the, the uh, helmet. I also have some gray on the arm on either side. And then on the, of course, the thermal down here. So it kind of just pulls that color scheme together um, very nicely. He also has two more... Um, patches of that ray shield armor on his helmet. Um, very nice. That is actually fabric and then a strip of metal and then the material that I use for my shields on top of that which I think turned out very nice. I'm trying my camera to focus. Um, the center piece down the helmet is actually a piece of fabric and then the uh, orangish looking pieces right here, the little uh, piece like that, those are actually metal 
and I bent over the fin, which took a long time. Um, took a long time to make those and uh, put those on correctly. And my camera, come on, work with me. There we go. Hope you guys can see that. That's a very nice helmet. And then, of course, two uh, little antennas on his helmet for communication. So, yes, very nice figure. Of course, he has the neck guard. Always do. And he's got this really cool face. His face is kind of like, I'm going to kick some butt. He has, this set comes with two different faces. This is the more intense one, which I think is very fitting for the gunner. Um, and you see that fabric, fabric um, goes over the shoulder pads. I'll try to say shoulder and pad at the same time. It didn't really work. Um, but yeah, it folds around um, his shoulders and then of course the neck guard. Um, so yes, and you saw what he looked like holding the gun at the beginning of the video. So my camera is flicking. The battery light is probably going to go off on me. So I'm going to just show you the gun and probably won't put it back into the hand. But um, this here is the gun, my heavy machine gun. It's all handmade. I used parts of other guns, of course the handles and then stuff like that. And then for the barrel, I will probably do a tutorial on this if you guys are interested in seeing it. It will take some time. This took a while to make. Uh, probably about an hour to get the whole thing done. Um, but a really nice gun. It's very proportionate to the figure itself. And then of course, this really awesome clip that just goes right in there perfectly. Um, I like making stuff that is um, playable in a way that you can you can use it. Um, but that just simply clicks into his hand. I said simply, but it's not. Um, and of course, you can move it all around. If he wants to hold it one-handed, he can be a boss and do it one-handed. But I don't think that's possible. Um, but I will put it back into his hand if I can. If I don't break it or mess something up in the process. Um, but yes, it goes right back into the hand very nicely, kind of, sort of. It's sort of a weird angle. Um, you have to turn the hand upside down. Um, but yes, he's holding it back. This just attaches to the front. Moving on to the back. And it goes right... Sorry, my camera's unfocused and um, it's hard to get this. So that goes in there. Let me be easier to put the back one in first. Yeah. There we go. And then he is ready to go. And he can, if you can move his hands up and down, you can kind of um, position that a little bit more. I'm sorry if that was all blurry and focused because I wasn't looking at my camera and what it was looking at. I was trying to put it back into his hand. So um, I was mainly looking at the figure. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, in my... Camino, I almost said, not Camino, ah, I knew I was going to mess that up. My Gene Ocean um, Heavy Gunner. If you like this figure, guys, please hitchhike it. Um, this will be up on eBay probably today. Um, don't forget that he is on eBay. Um, and I do have, basically all this stuff is on eBay. And I still have my armor packs, which are cool. Um, but yeah, this is the before and after. Um, he was pretty plain and simple um, before I got a hold of him. And as you can see, do one more roundabout. I have done a very big transformation from this figure. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My next figure is going to be this guy. He's going to have the same type of armor, roughly. I mean, different colors and like stuff like that. But he's going to have some more ratioed armor. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, uh, please hitchhike it, like I already said. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll put a button right up here. And if you're the first person to leave a shout, or if you leave First person to leave a comment, sorry I'm talking so fast, I'm tripping. If you leave a comment, I will put it up in here. The first person. I think I just said that backwards. I'm going to restart. Whoop! Okay, the first person to leave a comment on my video will get a shout out and I will put it right up in here. Yay! That didn't, that wasn't so hard. Um, one other thing is I organized all this stuff so it's out of my way, which cleared up my desk, which is awesome. You guys should do it. Organization, it rocks. Alright guys, God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you later in my next video. Later.